All right, we are joined by the head coach of the Mount Enterprise Wildcats, Coach Scott Ponder. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing good today. Good, excellent. Good to Did y'all just have practice or y'all have practice tonight? We're practicing in the evenings. So okay. We're the okay, yes. perfect. Well, let's talk a little bit about last year, a five and five overall record, three and two in district, made it to the bi-district round of the playoffs. Uh, talk to me a little bit about last season. Uh, last year was a year we thought that, um, you know, we're proud of the effort that we had, thought we improved. Uh, certainly was an improvement on the year before, but we were kind of a team of sophomores and juniors last year. Um, kids worked hard. You know, we really kind of think we laid the foundation for what we'd like to do this season. And a big part of the the offense last year was Keegan Ash with a, nearly 3,000 yards rushing uh, last season. Yes, sir. Um, how – how does that offense? How does that offense wear down the defenses that you play? I, I think it's a it's a, a little different than a lot of people are doing these days. Uh, uh, it's kind of an old school type of offense. It's very physical, uh, very fast. Uh, the kids are have really been executing it well uh, so far in our three days of practice. So we are uh, excited about the improvement we'll be able to make offensively. And let's talk about the district that we had realignment this year. You had a couple of new teams fall into this district. Uh, what are your thoughts on this upcoming district season? Uh, I think it's going to be arguably maybe the best district in a dis in class two, a division two uh, love lady has a great program. You know, they are as advertised. They had a great run last year. Uh, absolutely. The favorite to win our district. Grapeland is talented and well coached. They come from the, the best two AD one district in the state of Texas. So they will be a, an impact player immediately. You know, of course, Overton had a great year last year and we anticipate them being improved as well. Uh, Tenna Hall year in, year out, it's always good. They were a three round team last year and they bring back a lot of the athleticism and firepower that they had a year ago. Alto is going to be hugely improved and a uh, cushion's always a, a tough opponent to deal with, with their option offense. And you talked about it last year. You had a bunch of sophomores and juniors playing. You got 10 starters returning on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. So what are your expectations? What are you looking forward to this season? Uh, we want maturity. We want to be able to go out and push the kids harder and then be able to respond. We want to be able to obviously execute everything that we do better. Uh, we think and feel that we're bigger and stronger than we were a year ago. So in a lot of respects, uh, we think we're going to be more talented. Um, we think we're going to be hugely improved on the line. So, you know, hopefully that equates to a much better Wildcat football team. And it'll have to be because the district is going to be a, a, a war. Uh, highly likely whoever gets to be the district champion may lose a district ball game. I think it's going to be uh, a tall order for anybody to run the table in our district. It is going to be a, a very, very competitive situation. Well, we're going to be looking forward to uh, watching it on the outside. I know as coaches, it may not be always as fun <laughs> to be in the district, but we're going to enjoy it as fans from the outside. Yep, it's going to be more fun for y'all to watch than it's going to be for us. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, Coach Ponder, thank you so much for taking the time and talking to us today. Best of luck to the Wildcats this season, and we'll talk to you down the road. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you.